Good morning. Nadine, hey come here. A little bit of face tanner on my face last night before I went to bed and it dried all blotchy and I look orange, so I gotta rinse this off. You know, Lani, you wanna come over here? Here, I'm gonna You wanna come this way? I'm getting one of the worst cold sores I've ever gotten, so that's really fun. I just took Sam to school. It's his first day back for the, is this the spring semester? The one starting in January is the spring, right? I always wanna call it the winter semester. But there's a fall and a spring, right? Yeah, anyway, she wants to come over here, but she gets scared to like walk through all of these boxes. So she just whines because she wants me to clear a path, which I did clear a little bit of the path. You've got this, babe, come here. Okay, there's a lot to do today. I really want to get all of this put away. I think there's a space for everything in here. We're still waiting on like some furniture and some rugs and stuff, but we can put shit away, that's for sure. I really want to evenly fake tan. I want to fix this. I just feel really pale and gross and I'm always in a better mood when I'm tan, so. Dune needs to like have some sort of exercise or adventure. It looks like it's going to be a really clear, beautiful day. So I'm thinking about taking her on a hike later this afternoon around like one or two when Sam gets home from school. We can all go on like a little afternoon hike together. I'm blocking it, let's go, right here, right here. I'm standing in front of the scary stuff. Good job, you did it. I think right now though, I'm gonna let her run around in the backyard for a little bit. Maybe we throw the ball around, get a little bit of the morning energy out so that she's chill until Sam comes home later. Um, I have a couple TikToks I need to edit and post today. Um, I don't have to post those until later this afternoon though. I feel like I'll do that secondary. No, I think what I'm gonna do first is run around with Dune in the backyard, get her breakfast, put some self tan on, unpack all this shit, Start editing TikToks. I have a whole YouTube video I need to edit as well. I think that's the plan. I have no idea how long all this is gonna take. I'm gonna go make a tea to bring outside with Dune to warm me up. Good job. Go, go get your zoomies out. Go get your zoomies out. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dan. Wow. Good job. Good job. Hi. Another luxury of having a backyard is I can just bring a tea or a coffee with me out into the backyard to walk around with her and play with her and take her to the bathroom. I can't really do that on an actual walk walk. I just took Duna out in the backyard, we ran around a little bit, she went to the bathroom. I'm gonna feed her her food. Good girl, let's eat your food. Can you come over here? Thank you. Let's see how she does. Mmm, bon appetit. She also has some water. So I'm just gonna block her off with this because I don't know where her baby gate went. So she's gonna have 20 minutes in there to eat her food. And then we take it away after 20 minutes. That's what our trainer has suggested when she does a hunger strike or a food strike. It's kind of funny. Wow, I look so orange. I have to go wash this off. Um, it's kind of funny though because I know that she is asked, I kind of know what food she's asking me for. If she's not eating the beef patties and she's she never usually likes to eat these fish patties. We're just trying to get rid of them. But if she's not eating beef patties, beef is like her number one. I know she's asking for either Sunday's food for dogs or unkibble. Those are like her two favorite dry foods. Uh-uh. And sometimes she'll even hunger strike one of those for the other. Like she is very smart. She's very pushy. She's pretty manipulative. She knows how to get what she wants and I understand what she's saying. When our trainer, when we boarded her with our trainer for Christmas, so we could go visit Sam's family for Christmas a couple weeks ago, the trainer was, our trainer was like, oh, I see what you're saying. Like, Dune is one of the pushier dogs I've ever met. So anyways, um, I'm gonna answer a couple emails really quick while we see if Dune's gonna eat in the next 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna go put my tan on to marinate while I unpack the house. I've got my fake tan on. I've got a cold sore patch on. I just iced the cold sore even more. So we're just gonna get to work. I feel like 
most of these boxes are bathroom stuff. I don't know how we had this much bathroom stuff. I guess now we have three bathrooms to spread them between. The upstairs is almost done. We're gonna go walk to the bus station and pick Sam up. He just texted me that he's riding the bus home. So, dude, come. We're gonna do that. Come here. Dude, you wanna go on a walk? I'm gonna put your leash on. Come here. Nope, right here. Right here. Thank you. Dune goes crazy when she sees Sam. Oh. Sam's home from school, just made some ramen. And it looks so good, actually. Oh, you try this. What brand is it? Shin Black. Shin Black. Okay, from where, Walmart? I don't remember. Yum. Jen, where's your toy? Bring me your toy. There it is. <laughs> wow, she just threw that over her shoulder and caught it on the other shoulder. Wow, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, hello. Hello. Sam just made dinner. Drunken noodles, Singapore noodles. Singapore noodles. This is the other one. Huh, that just turned on the outside lights. Interesting. Singapore noodles with shrimp and cabbage and purple onion. Looks delish. I'm sorry, this is not for you. Mm. <coughs> mm -mm. Yeah, we'll need use the, the Argentine reds. Shrimps are so good. She tried to hump me on the couch. Mm. Dune is starting to hump. She's never done that before. She got she <coughs> had a delayed spay, but she's still spayed. She you got spayed at like a year and three months. Mm. Mm. Is your part so good? I want to try them. What are they? White Russians? actually been a couple weeks 
since the video that you just spent the last 10 minutes watching. We have a couple more things that have delivered to the house. Like we have our new piece of the couch. So the couch is finally all together. Dune got a new crate. She is sunbathing behind me right now. <laughs> She's got a big old crate. She needed an upgrade from her last one. She's grown a little bit. We went to the Asian market. We got a couple things. These looked like, I've been seeing on TikTok these like peelable mangoes. They're little candies, but, oh yeah, no, these are not them. I was thinking they would be. They're just little gummies. That's good. The living room is currently a disaster because we're doing like a weekend sleepover. We got our fourth piece to the couch, so now we can put all the pieces together and make a bed. This looks so messy. So as I was saying, it's been a couple weeks since I last filmed. Getting back on the YouTube grind, I had a super busy January with um, TikTok brand deals, which is like amazing. Hashtag very blessed, but it was a lot. And I had to do like six partnerships in one week like everything just piled up to the end of January. And then this month I have some really cool campaigns coming out that I worked on a couple months ago and like flew to Germany for. So I've got like some fun things rolling out over the next couple weeks. Anyways, the house has come together a little bit more. There's a few pieces that I've gotten since the last thing that I filmed in this vlog. I have my anthropology mirror now. I got like the smaller one. And I debate every day if I should have got the bigger one. I'm ordering a couple more things. I'm doing some collabs for some furniture, which is super cool. I feel like I'll have a more thorough house update here soon. And I'm going to do a house tour on YouTube. I just want some more stuff to like be installed before I do a full house tour. These high twos are so hard. Mmm. Sorry, babe, that's not for you. Dooney's been doing great in the new house. I think she's fully adjusted. I don't mind our laundry here. Sam had to go to the laundromat yesterday. Oh yeah, I guess that's another house update. The washer and dryer that are in this house are in the garage. And they were left by the last tenants. And we knew moving in here that the landlord isn't in charge or responsible for the washer and dryer. <sighs> he said, there are washer and dryer, but if they break down or anything, it's on you. We don't provide it. And we were like, okay, they probably will be older or whatever, but there, there's at least some here that to their knowledge, they work fine. To the landlord and property management's knowledge, it works fine. Turns out they don't really work at all. So we're in the process of getting a stackable washer and dryer unit that's gonna go down here in Dune's kitchen. But until then, we've literally been going to laundromats. So that's really fun. Yeah, I'm excited to get to work on this next week's vlog, but what I wanted to maybe update on is something that we've been talking about the past couple days or the past week. I feel really called to maybe start fostering soon. I feel like we've got all the space for it. We've got all the resources for it. There is an amazing, there's actually a couple options of who we could foster through here in Salt Lake. Uh, there's one in particular that I feel like I've already got a good relationship with that I would love to start fostering with. So I, today I applied to be a foster, like did the application thing and like the little walkthrough of what it means to foster. And because I have Dune, if we end up fostering a dog, we'll have to meet in person with Dune and the other dog before we're ever like paired up. And we haven't like paired up with anyone yet. I just like, we've literally just taken step one, but I feel like I I think I'm ready to, to start fostering or to try fostering. Sam's way more hesitant than I am about fostering um, because I think we both are afraid of the heartbreak, especially Sam, of like having to give a dog to someone else once we've like bonded with it. So I just don't know how it's gonna go. Um, you can also foster for a couple days. You could foster for a couple weeks. You know, it doesn't have to be like a super long thing. So I think we might try doing something like that here soon, which I'm excited to keep you updated on. This isn't a promise that something's gonna happen, but I just have been feeling like that lately. So I think that's kind of the direction I wanna go. That might be our next exciting chapter. I think it could be so fun for Dune. But that's something else about fostering is that I'm gonna put Dune first above any other dog, meaning if it's not good for her, we probably won't continue doing it, or if it's not a good match, obviously, we'll figure out how we can go about it for as long as we can. I think Miss Sunbather over here would love having a friend. She's super social, she loves dogs. She's always trying to play with the neighbor's dogs through our fence. Yeah, it could be good. 
Anyways, more vlogs coming soon, more house content coming soon. We just got like curtains that delivered that we need to install tomorrow. I'm picking out, I think a couch for down here in my office. I have to figure out where these pictures are going and what we're doing on this wall. We've just got so many more projects in the works. I don't know why I'm eating a high chew on camera. This is one of the worst things you can chew while talking. Anyways, thank you for watching this vlog. Sorry, it's a little bit late to coming out. I'm getting a hang of this whole YouTube thing, but this is the year of my YouTube. So make sure to subscribe and like the video, leave a comment of what you want to see next or in the upcoming content. She's a little busy sunbathing right now, but she loves you guys too. Also, if you have any fostering tips or advice or experiences that you feel like would be helpful to share, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments below. Love you guys.